I feel so much better now. It's mad, like. Hello there and welcome to another episode of the Drift Games vlog. So game changes, so games change, we're at the end of the series and I still can't say it. So games changes is now finished. So because it's finished, it means that these cars in this livery have now completed the job. Now it may seem a bit silly that we're taking the wrap off these cars because my car has only actually done one competitive round and Dave's has only done a few competitive rounds. But it is time for them to get a refresh with the new sponsors and everything like that, which we will be releasing in a week or so along with the new look. So for my car, it's not actually too bad. I mean, I've got a few cracks there. Probably the worst bit of damage is in the back there, but we have another arch that we can do. Dave's on the other hand needs a bit of a bigger refresh. It's all caved in and it looks probably worse than it actually is. Matty is going to be coming down here. That's the guy that did the carbon bits on the car, the hatch and the roof of Dave's car. He's going to be coming to repair it. But for now, and it's very late. I'm stupid in starting this job now. I'm probably gonna give up halfway through and I may take it on again in the morning, but we'll see how we get on. So for now, take a good look because, in fact, let's just go into one more montage of the cars for, for all time's sakes. Okay, so the battery went last night during the time lapse of stripping this down. And then I came in this morning and just kind of plowed onto it. It's a bit boring, so yeah. I'm not the tidiest worker in the world. Look at this. All of this, all of this happened because he wanted to paint every single bit that was going back on the car. This isn't the whole video, obviously. I'm sure you've seen from the thumbnail by now, but we had the idea whilst the cars were stripped down before we started this we never had the opportunity to actually run them completely without body work and everything like that so we thought it'd be quite cool to do a bit of a photo shoot with all the panels off as like a bare skeleton because we said when the cars were like that they just look badass it's just something that we always kind of wanted to do but we never got around to doing because everything was obviously so busy and my car not working and everything like that so yeah we're getting a chance to go back in time and do that. So I'm gonna strip all the body, body panels off there. It's ready for the next year's project. Okay, so one down, and unfortunately, one to go. But uh, Dave assured me that he's gonna be here soon, so we should get his done a lot quicker. Okay, so new day, again, battery went, and the stickers are finally off the car, and Dave did keep to his word, and he came down to help pull off the stickers for about an hour. So yeah, last job will be before we go testing, well not really testing, just to do a bit of a photo shoot with the cars like this, is to take other panels off, which is surprisingly quick in the Corvette. So gonna do that, give the cars a bit of a clean down, and then we're getting loaded up onto the truck, and then we'll be off to Mondello.
hold that thought. We love our drift cars here at Drift Games, but we don't drive drift cars on the road, we drive sensible cars. And if we're in the market for a used car, we come here to Moorfield Motors. These guys have an amazing selection of everything from luxury cars, to first time buyers, to commercials. So if you're in the market for an amazing used car, check out their full stock list online at moorfieldmotors.ie. And if they don't have it in stock, they can source it for you. Hello. Nice of you to turn up, Dave. Yeah, well, you missed all the graft and I'm now here, just I'm the here, driving. Here for the fun bit, <laughs> as always. So we're here in Mondello Park. Thank you to Mondello Park for allowing us a little bit of a nice little evening. It's the only bit of sunshine uh, I think we're going to get all week. And we need it because we have absolutely no protection from anything else. So before we now head towards the cars being re imagined, I think is the right word, in the next few weeks and relaunching them in November. Uh, we wanted to have a little bit of a test at a play with some of the camera positions because we didn't really do much of that this year. So one of the things we want to try is the 360 camera, which has a carbon fiber or thingy bob and it attaches to this. But what I want to do is test this because obviously if I want to run this, I have to cut through the back of the car. So we want to make sure this is actually working properly. So we're going to test that and first. it's in the right place as well. Yeah. And yeah. another reason we're doing this is uh, scientifically is because it just looks class. So like, you know, that's pretty much as far as- And let's be going. honest, we, we each want the picture of it just bare, which Adam's going to absolutely okay, nail by okay. the way. Doing, doing the snaps. Are, doing we, snaps. are we not going to mention the, the new fashion range of the, the Drift Games Yeti running around here? No, he's on a, he's just come from a hike. Yeah. Find your sheep up the mountain or- <laughs> 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 Have a look at this while we're here. So remember we had that understeer issue um, at yeah. BDC. No, we might have figured out why. You know what, and Dave actually may have figured this out because it's very obvious. Yeah. Like it's like literally- You hard. couldn't see it as much because the arch was down onto the tire. You've got more tread of rubber stuck onto it. Well, essentially yeah, so, the tire is not touching the ground. No, now. the tire's not touching the ground, it's just this touching the ground. So that must have happened in the burnout box where I was warming my, warming my tires. And you see, because the arch comes to here, I can only see this, really. So I was like, oh, that's fine. But now you take the arches off. The story has been told that I was definitely driving around on 48 people's tires into the first corner. Oh, in the boot. Sorry, I interrupted you, that was a serious shot. Unbelievable. Yeah, what? so I haven't got much tires here, or we haven't got much time, so as much as I'd love to talk about uh, Blaine's jumper for the rest of this, um, <laughs> we might just jump onto the car. So I've got very little tire left on these, so I'm going to go test the 360 degree camera first, and we're going to do a lap or two on that and see how it goes, and I obviously scrub my front tires a little bit too. So uh, it's going to be really bizarre, because there's, there's nothing. No, I'm looking forward to this. Right, jump on this and we try and get for as many camera angles as possible. Yes. things I think. Jesus Christ! You can't see a thing! The frame there flew up onto the window. What's it like drifting with no doors and no anything? Mad. Very mad. The amount of smoke it made was ridiculous. <laughs> Set up in the, it's so fast. It, uh, it looked noticeably faster there, like to any other time you've tested. Like I'm coming through the middle bit and I'm like, it's ridiculously fast. But like they're just trying to throw it backwards. I actually had so much grip at the back, it didn't wash. And then I just got stuck. But uh, so much fun with the, like the bits of tire off the front are flying over my head, <laughs> in outside here. It's like so visceral, like it's so much more than when the panels are on. It's mad. like. 
I don't know, it's like, it's like go-karting at 80 times the speed. It's ridiculous. <laughs> You're in a t-shirt, Blaine's in winter yeah. camping wear. Yeah. Blaine had a heavy night out two nights ago, so he's very, he's very rough. <laughs> The MX-5 is working pretty good. This car feels so much better now. So just after BDC we fitted a new anti-roll bar, a lot heftier than the other one, and I swear to god it's a different car, like unbelievable. Say Dave broke it anyways. So that's your manifold, I'd say. You snapped the turbo off the manifold. Well, I couldn't snap the turbo off the manifold. You literally snapped the turbo. You ruined everything, Dave. As they park it in. So, uh, Josh's car now handles excellently, but the turbo and the manifold have ceased to be friends. They have uh, separated. Sad, uh, a problem that started. Uh, they were having trouble in uh, in Teesside at BDC. Thought they could rectify it, but they've gone their separate ways now. So we're going to need a new manifold. But at least the car handles great. So figured out the setup. Now just figure out a manifold, and we're good to go on that. We've got about 10 minutes left of the track time here, so we're going to put a set of tires on the Corvette. And Blaine is setting up a camera on our Drift I'm, Games Experience 350Zs, I'm, so we can I'm do a bit not of trick. making love to the car, I'm just making That's sure I can see the camera. interesting sort of uh, posture there, man. I like that. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna do some tracking shots where we're gonna chase the Corvette, or the Corvette is going to be behind this car and try and get some cool photos and some cool videos while we've got about 10 minutes left. <laughs> Ready? 
I mean, to say that's sketchy is an understatement with, oh my God, Blaine. <laughs> what is, what is that maneuver that's going on? There we go. Ah, go away. Go, go away. <laughs> oh, oh. Boom. And there, there it is. Worked Nailed it. it. Nailed it. Okay, so I think we're going to line the cars up now and take some pictures of them and do a bit of a, a video shoot and everything like that. Just whilst I like this, just so we have them forever. And we don't have to do this every year, although it was hella cool, so maybe we should do this every year. Yeah, that was a quick one. So obviously we don't have much, we didn't have much time to do everything, but we got some tracking shots, we got some onboards, we I got drove pitches. this broke that it fixed itself. Um, and then your car did break. I definitely broke that. We got lots of shots and photos. My car's great, your car broke. Standard day at drift games as far as I'm concerned. I was gonna say if it, if it went any different than this, I'd be worried. No. It'd be it'd feel weird. Yeah, so that's the last time anyone's gonna see the cars until all the new panels go back on and they have brand new wraps. That's gonna be in about three weeks, three and a half weeks from now. So we gotta get them all cleaned up. We gotta get all the new uh, livery ready and I can't wait to show everybody the new livery because it's absolutely bananas. The cars will not be black anymore. That's just my little hint. Definitely out there. So we're gonna try and show you guys behind the scenes from here on in. Josh is heading off for two weeks on holidays. You're stuck with me in a GoPro. It's probably not gonna be up to the same standard. But then again, I'm, I'm pretty awesome. I'll probably just figure out Josh's job in like 10 minutes and just bang him out. Josh, what do you reckon? I say this could be make or break for me. I'm fairly confident. You're pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. Don't, don't be commenting saying he's great and I should go now. <laughs> That's going to be all the comments. After all your equipment, all your bags, and all your little lenses, I'm just going to have one little GoPro and see what happens. But we've got loads of fun stuff coming over the next two weeks. It's going to be a little bit raw, a bit rushed, but it'll be a bit of fun as we get ready for the relaunch of the cars for 2022 and Drift Week. So until then, we'll see you then.